Welcome back, everyone. It is time for Nobody Asked You. And we're going to what? We're going to answer questions that people have posted online, and even though they didn't ask us specifically, we're going to answer them anyway. We feel like we've gained a lot of knowledge in our many years of being alive, and we want to share that information. Okay, let's see our first question. All right. Here we go. Help, I can't stop oversharing. Every time I talk to somebody, I start telling them too much about me. I add so many details to stories like what I ate, what I wore, how my parents' divorce affected me. Lee, I didn't know you wrote in. I know I have a problem with oversharing, and I've been trying to fix it. My dad was the same way, and it's honestly why he ended up in jail. Dad was a rat, a stool pigeon. Do you have any suggestions? I just feel so exposed, and I make others uncomfortable. Her question was overshared. Like, that question <laughs> went true. on for so long. That is true. Yeah. And you then didn't have to said, tell us your dad was in I prison. I didn't need to know your dad was in jail. Yeah, but you told us. Yeah. I, I do that, but only when I've had too many cocktails. I'm a big oversharer. I'll tell strangers things about yeah. I'm, I'm like, you want to hear my trauma? Let's yeah, get into it. I do that, too, I feel. I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. And I think the best way to is you got to take a breath, stop, tell and yourself no, I'm don't tell them this. And then do it again. Don't say that part out loud, though. Oh, I do. Don't I say, say it out loud. Don't tell Because I'll, I'll be in a conversation and go, hey, no, <laughs> no. That's what I do. That's true. I have seen you do that. You do that with me a lot. <laughs> I have done that with you. But you still always end up telling me. I know. You're a bad <laughs> secret keeper. Yeah. Lee will be like, you know what I heard? It is juicy. I can't tell you. All right, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. Now, yeah. for me, I would just say don't have too many cocktails and also just... Pretend they're your pastor or something. You wouldn't tell him that stuff, would no, you? That's a good and if you're not in confession, the con yeah, thinking that they're someone of importance that, who that you could never know this secret. Yeah, it's a secret about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I hope your dad gets out soon. All right. So that, that's it. Just lie to yourself is what we're saying. How do I flip a pancake? I'm having friends over in a few days for a breakfast for dinner party, but I have realized I have never made pancakes before. How do you flip pancakes and and have it come out evenly. I think the best thing to do is make sure you really grease the skillet. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Really? Yeah. When have you I, last made a pancake? I haven't. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. I mean, I did it, but the skillet was greased. <laughs> and so, because the other day, I've had trouble with my Teflon frying pan when I was making eggs, and my eggs are sticking. Well, then I thought, wait a minute, there's got to be a better way. So what I did was use popcorn butter spray, <laughs> and I just greased my skillet. Why don't you just use butter? I didn't have any. So I aerosoled the heck out of that frying pan, put the eggs on there, and boy, boom, flop, flop. And I wasn't scraping <laughs> the Teflon off like I normally do. Oh, yeah. Because it looks like it's been beat to heck. Yeah. Uh, so that's what that's the key to the pancakes. It's grease, grease the pan. How do you flip it? Well, the flip it's easy. Do you flip the it like flip this, or do you easy. use the no, spatula? No, I flipped the pancake. I have flipped the pancake. A minute ago, you hadn't. With yeah, the you spatula, I use a spatula. Yeah. No, you can. What use I've the always pan, heard is don't flip it until the air bubbles come up and pop. So when you pour the batter in there, air bubbles are going to come up, and when they start popping, then you can scrape and flip. None of this matters if that skillet isn't greased. <laughs> You You're starting to freak me skillet. out. Okay, should I move out of my mom's house? I'm a 25-year-old woman. I moved back in with my mom after her divorce three years ago. I love her, and I love living with her, but I have a job opportunity in another state. Should I take it? Should I pass on it? Should I convince her to come with me? What should I do? Is this a guy or a girl? Well, she says she's a 25-year-old woman. Oh, she said that? <laughs> she said that. She identifies as a 25-year-old woman. I just said I'm 25 years old. I didn't see woman. You didn't say anything. Oh. What do you mean I just said? <laughs> well, I, I read that one. That it. was me reading. That, it say, yeah, it says it in prompter. I'm a 25-year-old woman. Well, if you're a dude, get out of there for sure. Well, I think it's sweet. She says she moved in with her mom after her mom's divorce. Three years ago. Okay. So you, her mom should be over it by now. Yes. Yeah, three years is a long time. Maybe... Have an honest conversation with your mother and say, I've got a great job opportunity. Just tell her. I would just be honest. I wouldn't say, I'm having a hard life, time leaving you because like, I love you and I care about you. You lived yours. I mean, you destroyed it with a divorce. But I want to move on. I don't think you have to cut her down to tell her you're ready to move. I don't think. Maybe the divorce wasn't her fault. Oh, I didn't know that. I think it's sweet. You moved. You. Oh, God. 
I just have an honest conversation with your mom and say, I'm worried about you, I'm worried about leaving you, but I've got this great opportunity. Are you cool if I leave? I don't, I don't think you can tell her. You just, you just aren't, you just leave her, you, you just abandon just her gone. too. Yeah, you're just gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then mom's at the park on the swing set. You That's know, right can happened. you imagine what that was like? Not at all. <laughs> How can I get over my jealousy of my best friend's other friends? Oh, yeah. I totally understand that my best friend should have other friends, but I get so jealous when I want to hang out with her and she's spending time with them. What's the best way for me to get over this jealousy? Other friends. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. how you do it. Mm -hmm. Get yourself some other friends. No, I have had this same problem before. I can get jealous of friends, other friends. Because sometimes, for me, it's FOMO. Like, I'll feel left out if they're hanging out with other people besides yeah. me. But the biggest thing I've um, learned yeah. is you just tell yourself, oh, the fact that they're hanging out with them has nothing to do with me. Just because they're hanging out with them doesn't mean they're not hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. It just means they're hanging out with them, and that's fine. I think the, where the negative feelings come from is when you assume if they're hanging out with them, they're either mad at me or they like them more or they're choosing to hang out with them and not me. Which, no, they're not. Uh, this may be an overshare, and it may be, but it's the God's honest truth. I have never had FOMO. Really? If my friends are doing something, I could care less. Because I chose not to be with you. Because I'm tired, and I don't want to see you clowns. <laughs> okay, well, good on you. Is that weird? Yeah, it's weird. You because I, I am the life of the party. You can't say that about yourself. Like, honestly, you're not invited. I just said it, Bridget. 